Are we going to get tornadoes? Are we going to get nil dircho? Will this storm bust? I don't know, but the red equals danger. And so for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, possibly even a chunk of uh, Missouri, everybody better be watching out. And that includes me because the red has dipped down south. And then we're going to get some pretty heavy rain up to the Midwest and the Northeast. So everybody stay on your best behavior and pretty please stay weather aware. But it's definitely going to rain and it's raining now in Houston, Texas. Check out this thunderstorm cluster over Southeast Texas. It appears nearly stationary with persistent offensive tackles and aardvark angle cat people in goes east visibility infrared sandwich for texas weather activity has been prompted by the has prompted the national weather service flash flood and severe thunderstorm warnings because if you get a storm that kind of sits stationary as we learned from hurricane harvey you get flooding so everybody be cool because this is in southwest texas i guess south central texas I just woke up, so bear with me. Da Da Boo, the Florida Wavemaster, saying, So, not a good sign from the GFS today. Several runs in a row of the GFS are spinning up twin tropical cyclones. To Tway, to De, to Tway that sounds a cool word. Today, the 12 Z GFS dropped them both. Been watching for the nail in the coffin, which would be for the GFS to show the Atlantic tropical. Cyclone at 384. But yeah, uh, the GFS is con spinning up twin tropical cyclones. Cranky weather guy, the best weatherman on the planet, has told us to watch for tropical cyclonic activity in the middle of May. So that's what we're going to do. And I have told y'all that when Venus goes retrograde, expect the weather to get really weird and wacky. And Venus goes retrograde on May 12th, which is only two weeks away. We got some pretty interesting action happening across the globe, so be prepared. So yeah, parts of Texas are getting some pretty significant rain action. Blake Matthews, 2.11 p.m., flash flood warning in effect for portions of Brazoria County, Fort Bend, and Wharton counties until 4 p.m. That's two more hours. As much as five inches of rain has fallen in a very short period of time, areas new near Hungerford Kendleton and Needville need to be careful. Well, so one of them's hungry and one of them needs stuff, but Kendleton is okay. And technically, we all know that Kendall um, Jenner is the hottest of the Kardashians. These storms are just now firing up and will be with us for another 12 to 18 hours. So I would recommend staying on top of it, but maybe Mother Nature will be nice and at the end of April will um, give us a break and the storms will bust but we are gonna get some heavy rain so I would keep an eye out and mother nature's been pretty nasty but now that I've gotten some sleep and I am awake I will be with you every step of the way but that definitely looks like some pretty heavy rain the heaviest spots were down here but now we're getting some in southeast Brazoria and for the people who totally like to spaz out over snow there's a tiny little dash right there. There's a peppering of snow up in, where is that, Connecticut, Vermont? I don't even know. Never really gone up the northeast coast. One day I plan to. All right. All right, the radars are kind of freaking out, and the top looks like an alien type thingy, so take the weird weather watch up a notch. But we can see our storms are just now starting to get underway, and I think that's giving me Tourette's or Tetris. Um, but yeah, the storms are just now starting to get underway and then they will get exciting. I got to change this because the weird motion is making me queasy and none of these charts had predicted five inches of rain for anywhere. So we should be watching out because spring weather has a chance and an opportunity to surprise everyone. And I got six days left in my monthly fundraiser. It is May day. If you would like to contribute, I'd really appreciate it. Super thank you to the Texas angel. Awesome. Ellie squared. Super cool Mike and very nice Nancy. Stay cool and I will be back at you guys with cool information.
because that's what I do. Peace out.